Welcome back to Ask Dr. Clark. Today's topic is my wife won't stop her adultery. Here at Ask Dr. Clark, I answer your questions about marital crisis. If you want me to answer your question, email it to me directly at David E. Clark, Clark with an E, David E. Clark, PhD at gmail.com. Be happy to answer it. And if you're finding these videos helpful, I hope you are. We're getting more and more subscribers. If you would subscribe to this YouTube channel, tap the like button and leave a rating and a review. That would be great. And all my resources for marital crisis, and I've got a lot of them, are on my website, davideclarkphd.com. My books, my podcasts, my focus on the family video interviews, which get a lot of play, my phone advice service. You can talk to me about your marital crisis. Uh, $200 for 45 minutes. We set it up usually via email. Uh, you can get, find my email through the website, and boom, we will set it up. You pay by credit card just before I talk to you, and I'll give you a plan of action after I get the background. Now, today's question. Dr. Clark, my wife and I are still living together, but we're in bad shape. This is a Dave Clark case. Everybody's in bad shape. Until a year ago, I was emotionally abusive to her. Okay, he's admitting he was emotionally abusive. Up to a year ago. I did a lot of damage to her. He's admitting that good. But we went to counseling and I have re repented and really worked hard to become a better husband. Okay, it's been a year now. I thought we were in good shape. Here comes the but. But two weeks ago, I discovered my wife was in an adulterous affair with a coworker. Okay, not good. See, now, now the spotlight shifts over to her. She blames me for the adultery because of all the pain I caused her in the past. You know, I bet she does. And she continues to talk with this new man. She says she is only responding to his calls and texts to be polite. Yeah, really? I'll get to that in my answer. She has threatened divorce if I pressure her about this relationship. Well, she already wants a divorce. I'll get to this. Can't help making my comments. Here's his question. How can I take a strong stand when I did hurt her so badly in our marriage? See, he's, the guilt's keeping him from being tough, love-oriented. Should I be patient, he asks, and wait for her to stop this affair? My answer. You can take a strong stand, and you need to ASAP against her sin. This isn't a time for patience. It's a time for action. Secondly, she has not forgiven you for the past pain you caused her. That's her choice. Now, she probably says she's forgiven you. She has not. She's still blaming you. Number three, her adultery is 100%, not 98, 100% her fault. God doesn't give her a pass because of your past behavior. He does not. Four, she is choosing to continue the adultery right in front of your face. This is sin, serious sin, and also payback for the pain you caused her, further confirming she hasn't forgiven you. Five, her excuse that she's just being polite is laughable to this other guy, this male skank. A woman has no trouble rejecting a man when she's done with him. I guarantee you that. She wants this other man. That's the truth. She's having no trouble rejecting you, is she? Six, your roles have now switched. You are not the emotional abuser now. She is. What she's doing is now the current emotional abuse. And frankly, number seven, it's her adultery that will end your marriage, not her previous sins of abuse. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to follow a modified version of my book, My Spouse Wants Out. This is the book for you. I wrote it for you. Send her this message and don't do it in person or over the phone. She's not worth that, frankly. It's text or email. I want you to break off from her and back off starting now. Here's the message, this simple. I will continue to work on myself to grow closer to God and to be the best man I can be. Then you add, I will not tolerate your ongoing adultery. If you want this dirtball homewrecker, you can have him. Leave our home and go to him. She'll say, where am I supposed to go when you kick her out? Well, go to your new man. He's taking care of you. Oh, he's married? Too bad. That's your problem. Or he's single, not ready for you? Too bad. You've now transferred your affections. He can take care of you. Now, you can't force her to leave, but you can make it clear you want her to leave. And then you end up with, I release you to God. End of story. You've now switched the playing field. You're done with her. Then shun her in your home. Ignore her, basically, and follow the rest of the My Spouse Wants Out steps. If she repents, and we hope she does, ends the adultery, then you, be, you can begin a process of counseling, and that will be her individual counseling first. You don't jump into a marriage counseling session with her. Uh -uh -uh. She's got to get her head on straight, walk with the Lord, figure out why she committed this adultery, work on forgiving you for the things you did to her. She's got work to do, three or four months of work easily before you'd sit with her in a marriage counseling session. Okay, and we'll, we hope she does that. 
Now, once she's in solid recovery, if that can happen, and it will only happen because of the tough love you're doing, the two of you can begin couple counseling. And the first part of that will be healing from her adultery, not your previous issues. You always start with the with the most current pain. So with my book, I Don't Love You Anymore, that will help you heal from sexual sin. That's why I wrote this book. You'll work together to heal from what she did to you. Then you'll segue and help her heal from what you did to her as of a year ago. And, and before that, you'll heal from that. And then you'll build a brand new marriage.